Até ele é filha de peito. Terceiro vídeo da saga Face and the Lemes. React. Physical attraction is perceived visually. A common blue pill belief is that women aren't as visual or swayed by physical attraction as are men. But one of the reasons why it's harder to sway women visually is because women are harder to please visually. How many men in real life measure up to the hunks on the cover of female romance novels, often considered as pre-internet female porn? Where men looked at porn magazines, women read romance novels. Because men have more testosterone, the sex hormone flowing through their body than do women, men desire sex more than do women. In fact, men's tastes in women are more varied than our women's tastes in men. And I don't mean what women will settle for in a partner, but what women are genuinely physically attracted to. Of course women enjoy sex, but it's men who will do more and put up with more to get sex, and in turn, relationships. Men have low standards for female beauty due to having higher testosterone. For example, a man with healthy testosterone levels who is around a 6 out of 10 in looks may be open to fucking or even dating a woman who is a 4 out of 10 or above. Dating down in looks increases one's chances of being able to get sex and relationships, but male 6s for example who are willing to date female 4s make things harder for male 4s who now find it harder to date their looks match. Women can afford to narrow down the number of male potential suitors trying to date them because of their sheer abundance. And so she's turned to a method any business owner or entrepreneur would be proud of. I was like, I should make a boyfriend application. A three-page questionnaire. If anyone is willing to fill out a boyfriend application, they are a good candidate to be my boyfriend. Now there's the Taylor makes any man who wants to date her fill out a three-page questionnaire. Today's women need a way of filtering out the many men who approach them. So obviously if you're not physically attractive to them, there are plenty more guys where you came from. So far, more than a half dozen dates. And they've been going fairly well. Um, you could, there are definitely a few front runners, I guess. It's so odd. I don't know. I would never do this. I don't think I would fill it out. Not even she would lower herself to this, but men will. This YouTube video features a girl blogging about her relationship with her boyfriend. This is my boyfriend, <laughs> Lane. Did you notice his lean face, his cheekbones, his jawline, his broad masculine chin? Let's compare him to a less attractive guy. From the profile angle, the less attractive guy has a roundish jawline, which is more downward grown than forward grown like that of the better looking guy. The better looking guy has a clearly defined ramus, which is distinct from his noticeably straight, forwardly grown mandible, or lower jaw. The guy on the left has a recessed mandible, which causes his chin to fall significantly short of aligning <laughs> somewhat with, with his nasion. The better looking guy's <laughs> mandible grew far enough forwardly to allow his chin to Is align somewhat with his nasion. The guy on the left has a receding chin, making his mouth look overly prominent. This gives him a beta, less masculine, less alpha, mouth breather, weaker appearance. This unattractive guy on the left appears to have a high percentage of body fat, resulting in a less lean face than the attractive guy. His hairline is over, he's noticeably balding. He has protruding bug eyes with dark circles under them, possibly due to having a negative orbital vector. The left diagram shows a negative orbital vector in which the infraorbital rim of the eye socket, the bone directly below the eye, and the soft tissue around it are recessed or set back in relation to the anterior surface of the cornea where you see the red vertical line. An eye that protrudes more than the lower orbital rim may appear buggish. The eye with the positive orbital vector on the right shows a lower orbital rim and soft tissue that protrude beyond the anterior surface of the cornea. But recessed lower orbital rims do not always result in hollowness or dark circles underneath the eye. 
possibly in addition to recessed lower orbital rims. The dark circles may be owing to his lateral orbital rims being recessed, meaning the part of each eye socket where you see the blue line is set back considerably in relation to the surface of the eye, creating a trough from which the eye protrudes. Possibly, in addition to all of the above, the dark circles may be owing to his cheekbones, which are low set and non-protruding. Of course, these are merely suppositions that I can't confirm without seeing his face in real life. Your eye area plays an immensely important role in your attractiveness. This is England footballer David Beckham with German footballer Mesut Ozil's eye area. Your eye area can make or break you. The attractive guy's cheekbones are prominent and high enough to eyes. give him hollow cheeks. His cheekbones dovetail into his masculine broad chin, whereas the unattractive guy has no real bone definition in the face. His lower jaw is narrower than the upper and middle thirds of his skull. His lower jaw is roundish and unmasculine, compared to the broader jaw of the good-looking guy. His lower jaw, or mandible, is as wide as the upper and middle thirds of his skull. The unattractive guy is about a 3 out of 10 in looks. The attractive guy is about a 7 to 8 out of 10. How do you measure up? Now note some of the comments from young women who watched this video. That jawline can cut my sandwich, OMG. How comes no one is talking about how hot he is? He is so attractive, WTF. I would love to see him in 1080p quality, please, and thank you. Fuck, he's hot. Her boyfriend is really cute. She's lucky to have him. New Belvita sandwich breakfast biscuits are for everyone. Like the hottest guy at the office. Or the second hottest. Small office. Made with self awareness. Do women notice you when you enter a room? How much eye contact do women unknown to you give to you? When walking down the street, what clues do you get that you even register on women's radar as a sentient human? Are you invisible to women unless you approach them? But you think you're good looking? Four hours ago, no one knew who Alex from Target was or is. On a Sunday afternoon in 2014, a girl took a photo of Alex, a good-looking young teen bagging her groceries in a Target store. By Sunday night, the photo had amassed so many retweets and faves that Alex himself had reached over 300,000 Twitter hello. followers. Internet was buzzing, wondering just who this cashier cutie might be. He now has more than half a million followers on Twitter. By Monday morning, Alex from Target had made it to CNN, thanks to his popularity because of his good looks. Here is his appearance on The Ellen Show. 16. You're 16 years old. Yeah. How long have you worked at that, that Target? It's right outside Dallas, right? Yeah, I've worked at that Target for about three months now. Okay, three months. <laughs> The women in the audience are Good laughing Albert. at jokes that he's not even making because they're attracted to him. God, Blue pill. The but but m maybe he got famous because he's really confident or because he's a really good grocery bagger. Red pill. Being good looking opens doors and pussies. Be honest to yourself. Do attractive women treat you like you're good looking? He can rape me. I don't mind. It's impossible for him to rape because anyone would love it. I would pay him to rape me. Women often treat a guy that they find good looking like a celebrity. They keep the conversation flowing rather than merely responding out of politeness, belatedly and briefly. Below average to average looking guys struggle to keep women interested, even if there was some initial interest. Why do you still think you're good looking if there isn't much in your life that suggests this? Because you like what you see in the mirror? Because you can get laid if you dumpster dive? Because you have a single mom, 40 year old, used up, post prime, cum dumpster fuck buddy? Because you have a plain Jane girlfriend who's settled for you because you are somewhat stable and won't cheat on her because you can't? Because you date low status immigrant women? Because you lucked out with one cute girlfriend after years of being single? These are the type of women that Alex can fuck. How do the women that you've dated compare to those following Alex on Twitter simply because of his face? Race is deeper race than the color of the one's skin. Certain physical <laughs> traits are mostly <laughs> common to certain races or phenotypes, a sort of subclassification of race, which is why you can determine the race of each of these albinos. 
For example, the average white man will tend to have thinner lips. The average black man tends to have a lower nasal bridge and broader nose. Approximately 50% of the East Asian population does not have an upper eyelid crease. They are said to have a single eyelid, such as the one you see above to the left. In East Asian eyelids in which the lid crease is present, such as the one seen bottom left, the crease is typically located lower than in the Caucasian eyelid. Certain traits that men of a particular race or phenotype may have may not be attractive to women of another or increasingly the same race or phenotype. This isn't necessarily born out of prejudice in the former case or self-hate in the latter, but preference. But the fact remains, women might reject you because of traits that you have typical of your race or phenotype. There are even greater differences between different races underneath the skin that have an impact on the proportions of the face and soft tissue of the face. The Caucasoid, Mongoloid and Negroid skulls on screen now are huge generalizations and do not take into account various phenotypes or admixture, but, but let's work with them for now. The shape of the eye orbits are seen from the front. Caucasian eye sockets tend to have an aviator glasses shape. Those of Asians tend to be more circular, somewhat surprisingly, and those of blacks tend to be more rectangular. This, combined with the fact that prominent brows are more prevalent in Caucasian men, means that wider, deeper set, more hooded eyes are slightly more common in even an average Caucasian man while less hooded, more protruding, rounder eyes are slightly more common in an average black man. Of course, not all black men have protruding round eyes. The zygomatic form or cheekbone shape. You may be under the impression that eye shape and eyelid difference alone give Asians their characteristic look. But notice how much more forward and sideward projection the Asian zygoma or cheekbone has compared to that of the black and Caucasian skulls. Wider set cheekbones and thus a wider face usually prevent Asian men from having the dreaded long narrow horse face skull that can afflict blacks and Caucasians. But wider set cheekbones can sometimes make Asian skulls appear overly round and juvenile. The nose. From the front, the Caucasian skull's nasal sill has a more pronounced angulation. The black skull's nasal sill lacks this angulation, and that of Asians tends to be intermediate. The nasal bridge. Each race's profile view shows how high or low this is. Blacks tend to have low nasal bridges. Caucasians tend to have high nasal bridges. Asians tend to have low nasal bones with a slight angulation. The maxilla. The maxilla in Asians tends to be flatter, giving a flatter face look. Blacks tend to have a maxilla that projects more forwardly below the nose, known as prognathism. The Caucasian maxilla tends to be less projecting, so it's not just the lip size and lip shape that no, result in this black man's lips projecting forwardly level with his nasal tip. The jaws hell. and teeth are also projecting forwardly, giving his face a somewhat characteristic black look. In addition to this, black skin tends to be thicker, sometimes giving it a rougher texture and rougher look. Caucasian skin is thin and tends to look more translucent. Very dark black skin tends to shine, white skin tends to glow. Indigenous blooded Latinos and East and South Asians tend to be shorter in height. The average male height in Mexico is 5 foot 5, 5 foot 4 in Ecuador, 5 foot 6 in China, 5 foot 7 in Japan, 5 foot 5 in Malaysia, 5 foot 4 in Sri Lanka, and 5 foot 5 in India. Compare this with the West, the UK and USA where the average male height is 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11 in Germany, and 6 foot in the Netherlands. And there could be a lot of noise in those statistics. East and South Asian countries' populations are homogenous, meaning the average height of males in Japan, 5 foot 7, is an accurate measure of the average height of an ethnically Japanese male. In Western countries whose populations are heterogeneous, the average height in, say, the UK could be affected by shorter, non-ethnically British men who live there. Whites and many blacks who live in the West tend to be taller than East Asians, South Asians, and indigenous blooded Latinos, even when these groups have a more Western diet. East and South Asians and Africans from the Horn of Africa, meaning Djibouti, Somalia, Eritrea and Ethiopia, have smaller, more ectomorphic body frames than whites and West African, Caribbean and African-American blacks. 
East and South Asians tend to have smaller dicks too. According to Target Map, the average erect penis length in inches is 5.6 UK measured, 5.6 USA self-reported, 6.3 Senegal measured, 6.4 Jamaica measured. Compare this with 4.4 Pakistan self-reported, 4.3 South Korea measured, 5 Japan self-reported, but note China 5.1 measured, which gives it more validity. Obviously the self-reported measurements have less validity. But the fact remains, when many Western women think of a man with sexual prowess, East and South Asians rarely come top of the list. So far, we've only looked at some of the physical aspects of race. We haven't even factored in the social aspects of race, culture, religion and phenotypes. For instance, some white women may be turned off by some Middle Eastern looking men due to fears about Islam and perceived cultural misogyny. Some Western women have preconceived ideas about Asian men. Listen to this East Asian man describe some of them when he gets busted in a police sting on to catch a predator trying to fuck an underage girl. Alright, well I'm gonna go get myself something to drink. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Alright. Strawberries and whipped cream and chocolates and... Stuffed animals? Oh, you've got it all going on, don't you? Oh, wow. Well, Why don't you have a seat right over there, please? I'm a very I'm lonely guy. A lonely guy. I tried different personal sites, and it's just like they never, they think I'm too short, or they think like an Asian guy is just going to be like a nerd or a geek. Do white girls like black guys? Yes! yes! We love black guys! A black guy asking white women if they're attracted to black guys is far from the best way to elicit honest opinions. Who's going to want to look like a backward thinker and possibly be accused of being prejudiced for having a preference for non-black guys? And as we know, women lie anyway. Um, yes. No, she, she, she yes. That means no. Uh, well done the host for picking up on this. This girl's delayed, unconvincing answer and the facial frowning are involuntary micro-expressions indicating that she's lying. Her facial expression, posture and body language are literally rebelling against the untruths coming out of her mouth. You can literally hear her trying to convince herself even that she's telling the truth. If the interviewer had asked, how many black men have you dated or fucked? This would have better indicated their attraction to black men. And a moment of rare honesty. Jungle fever is a real thing. It's a is it contagious? It but is. it's not for every black guy. Like, it depends on the guy. That's right. You still need to look decent. But how decent Traços can black guys noise. make up for a lack of looks with masculinity and swagger? Muito shape and muito altura. Like, there was this huge barricade whenever I saw blonde hair, blue eyes, and like, you know, the, the crest white smile. I, I was terrified. Asian Bobby is totally unaware that his race, well, face and height are an instant over. deal breaker for many women. Bobby doesn't know it at this point, but he's already run into a brick wall. The girl, or target as she's called in class, is not interested in him. Um, I tend to go for taller guys, and my type tends to be Caucasian and blue eyes, and he didn't have either of those. Well, I, 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 feel really really azul, <laughs> I just tend to be like, attracted to Do you to notice or anything or about or these interracial relationships? This and more race red pills in the next episode. <laughs> 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 This is one of many dating websites on which women join free but men pay. The creators understand that men are willing to pay for spaces that women access for free. Websites, nightclubs, you name it. If you can entice women in, men will follow. Do you notice anything that these disabled dating websites have in common? They all feature able-bodied men resorting to dating a disabled woman. Modern day dating is easy for women because so many men bombard them with sex and dating offers. They have so many options that they can afford to be picky as fuck. I made a fake dating profile using pictures of an attractive young Spanish girl. I made it a raw deal for any male potential suitor. Marital status, not single, not looking. About me. First of all, let me be clear, I have a boyfriend. He travels around the country a lot because of his job. I am only looking to hang out. There is zero chance of sex. I repeat, naught. Zilch chance of sex or anything sexual. Repeat after me, zero. I don't have a job at the moment, so you pretty much would have to buy the dinner and drinks. Sorry. It would be fun to hang out with you, to just chill in a bar while you get us some drinks. Or you could treat me like a princess in a fancy restaurant. I don't really have any goals right now. I don't want to work. Huh. First date. It's up to you, seen as you're paying. Mwah. Men still bombarded her with messages inviting her out. 
Just checked out your profile. I like it. Got a bit of a crazy request though. I'm from Liverpool, but I won a prize. A trip to London. Free hotel for the night. Chris Crown Bebe Plaza, London Docklands. And tickets to something which I think I won't go to. Huh. I'm only down for one night, all alone, single. And wanted some company. A date. A few drinks. You'd best message back. Huh. You seem really nice, and I like the sound of a date with no complications. Friends and no sexual issues. Sounds good. Be nice to spend time with good company and have a laugh and just that. So if you're interested, love to hear back from you. Hey, how are you doing? Are you having much luck on here? If you think men's behaviour seen here is only reserved for attractive women, then you're wrong. I used a less attractive woman. She was still obnoxiously pursued by men. There was something very different about this woman though. That experiment coming up soon. Blue-pilled people watching this show will point to some of the couples they know where the man isn't attractive as proof that most women don't have a strict looks requirement for a potential suitor. Indeed, many men are in a relationship with a woman that many may consider out of his league. But what these blue pillars fail to mention or to notice is that often these relationships are the most volatile, the unhappiest, the ones where there is an imbalance of power in the woman's favor, the ones where breakup is imminent, the ones in which the woman is susceptible to messing around with a better looking man. Check out this dating experiment featuring a good looking man. Nope, fortunately for you. I just told you, I have a boyfriend. Nossa, what, you're not you? allowed to have friends? Well, judging by the way you're talking to me, you're looking for more than fires, friends. Hey, you messaged me first, remember? Later. I may not want to talk to you another time. Ouch, I'm really not comfortable sending you a nude pic to someone I've never met. Okay, well, message me when you are hotty. I'm looking for a firecracker, not a dud. I gotta go, I'll talk to you later. Ouch, ouch, fine. One pic. That's all you will get. He. Give me a sec. Okay, dot JPEG. The conversation in full and what happens next in the next part. This video has no audio, but this will allow us to concentrate on the facial expressions and body oh, language of Brazil. those who appear in it. Most men think they're anything from somewhat average looking to above average looking. They come up with various coping mechanisms for why a woman may have rejected them. They think there was some magical thing that needed to be said or done at the right time that would have engaged her or kept her interested. They mentally retrace their steps to find one minute action that they may have done that could have turned her off. The truth is, the emotions evoked in a woman as the result of an action are often dependent upon the attractiveness to her of the man performing. So, <laughs> The age red pill. Most men don't age, age like fine wine, but instead get uglier. Cara, As an older man, gênio, overall, you have oh, less appeal cara, and less exposure to women in their looks prime before they become bitter, crass, and used up. Looks maxing. Would you go under the knife to improve your looks? The role of money and status in attracting women. Mugtao, men going their own way. These men have sworn off relationships with women. But is this just a coping mechanism for unattractive guys? More bitter pills to swallow. <laughs>